Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I've got a really cool forechecking drill that I started using last week and I had a lot of success with it with my team so I figured I'd show it to you guys today. Um, I call it the perpetual forecheck and the reason why is just because once the drill started it's continuous so it keeps going and going and going and one of the reasons I really like this is it works on a little bit of everything. So you get some defense zone coverage, some breakout, some forecheck as well as the name indicates and uh, so let's go ahead, we'll pull up the rink I'm using the Hockey Share Drill Diagrammer to show you this one. And um, after I've finished diagramming this, I'm going to save it in the Public Drills folder. So I'll include a direct link to this drill in the, in the description of the video. And if you want to take a look at the drill, print it off, or use it in your own practice plan, you're able to do so. So here's what we got going on here. We've got a line of uh, three forwards and two defensemen at center ice. And we've got another line down here of uh, five defenders. Again, three forwards, two defensemen and we've got another line of defenders down here, three forwards, two defensemen. So to start the drill, what's going to happen is the coach is going to take and uh, dump the puck in. He can pick either corner, doesn't matter, and that's just to start the drill. After he dumps it in, we're going to go, these guys are going to go straight into D-zone coverage mode or breakout mode, depending on who gets the puck first, but uh, probably what's going to happen is this defenseman is going to come in, pick it up, We'll probably have our centermen begin to shadow as in as as we do in our breakout, and uh, these guys will start sp spreading out to their positions. As the puck is being dumped in, um, the attacking line is going to come in and forecheck, and they're going to use whatever forechecking system you designate. So, say you're work wanting to work on the one-two-two in this practice, you're going to send these guys in full speed in one-two-two. So, let's just say right winger is the first man in; he's going to pressure from the outside in, like we do in our uh, one-two-two foosball setup. Um, the centerman will be F2, he'll come in, set up somewhere close to here, and then the left winger, set up somewhere close to here, and we'll bring in our two defensemen in the middle. Now, as you remember, in our 1-2-2, depending on which side of the ice the, the puck comes out on, then these guys will be shifting side to side. So let's just say that our defenseman reads the pressure, and um, let's say that he begins to skate it. I'm going to make sure that's a black line. So let's say that he begins to skate it behind the net. Okay, so he reads pressure outside in, he takes and skates it behind the net. And so basically, like I said, we're going to foos over. Okay, so these guys are going to foos across. And basically what he's doing is um, just sealing off the, the board side pass. Okay, and again, this guy will foos across. I usually like to have the, uh, I usually like to have the middle guy foos across at a slight, slightly defensive angle. So he'll come back back and towards the middle. And then the two defensemen are doing the same thing. This defenseman foos is straight across, seal off the boards. And this defenseman foos is across at an angle. And I've got a full video on the 1 2 2 foosball four check. This isn't the time or place to talk about this, but. Anyways, so basically we're going to execute the four check and it's going to stay in here until one of two things happens. Either the defending team breaks out or the four checking team scores. Now if the four checking team scores, coach will blow two quick whistles. That signals that the play is dead. Everybody who was four checking just peels off to the side and then the coach will take and he'll start the dump in on the other side. Okay, so it'll just be a quick dump in. Now everybody who was defending is going to become the new four checkers. So they're going to bust it down the ice, begin to four check on whatever four check they've been given as their designated four check, and these five guys will begin to defend. Okay. Now, if they actually end up breaking out clean, that's great. They get out as soon as the puck comes outside the blue line. All five four checkers peel off and allow them to walk out of the zone. And uh, as soon as they step over the red line, they're going to dump it in. They can choose which corner they dump it in and then they're going to go ahead and put pressure on their forecheck using their designated forecheck like we talked about. Okay, so then the play starts down here. Same exact thing. Um, closest man to it goes and gets it, tries to initiate the breakout. Sentiment's shadowing. Wingers are peeling off into position. And the line that was just defending down here, so it would be the black players, are attacking on the forecheck, whatever designated forecheck they've been given. Um, as this happens, as soon as that play is dead, Green peels off, black is forechecking. You're going to send the next five guys out to get ready for the subsequent play. So as soon as these blue guys end up breaking out or getting scored on, then the puck will be dumped down in and uh, the blue guys will forecheck and the new set of defenders will be defending that territory, that zone. So that's your perpetual forecheck. 
fabulous drill. It's high tempo, um, a lot of, you know, mimicking a lot of different game situations. And it's, uh, it's worked really well for my team. And uh, I think it'll be a, a good one for you as well.